I like being a foster grandparent. Maybe I can help mold a child's life so they can, he can be a better adult when he gets older and teaching better manners and being a better person when he gets older. something about there's a tie between those of us with shall we say some years on our docket and the kids of all ages uh, when they get to the teens it gets a little tricky but yes sir but we try so on behalf of the Illinois Commission on behalf of the kids of Illinois on my behalf. Thank you very much for what you do, folks. Thank you, Ms. Duncan. I have been given the honor of introducing someone I know very well. But first, I'd like to tell you a story. When I was in fourth grade, my teacher announced that we're going to have a special guest visitor. She continued by saying that this special guest visitor helped people in the community. And I just knew that my dad was going to walk through the classroom door. But to my surprise, it was not my dad. <laughs> All I knew was that my dad helped people in the community, and I was very proud to think that the entire fourth grade class was going to know that too. Even though he wasn't our special guest visitor that day, he's very special to me. So I'd like to introduce my father, the president and CEO of PCCEO, the brother to Danita, Deborah, Terry, and Gregory, the husband to Stephanie for over 13 years, the father to Fumani Tinyelu Bragg and Maya Mira Bragg, and most importantly, my father, McFarland Bragg II.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for the work that you do. Um, thank you for the difference that you make in children's lives. Um, a lot of things going on in this community that are, that are not good. Uh, our kids are being exposed to things that they should see at the age that they are now. Uh, we've seen in our Head Start, early Head Start programs, uh, some very strange behaviors with our kids. Uh, and it's not the kind of behaviors that three, four, five, uh, and toddlers, that's, that, that's something that they be the same or something that's happened to them because some of the behaviors are really, really strange. But I want to thank you for all of the work that you do uh, with our kids. Uh, that nurturing relationship that you have with them, uh, in some cases, is the only nurturing relationship that they're involved in. Uh, a lot of the neighborhoods uh, have gone down, they've deteriorated significantly. So the time that you spend with them is sometimes the only good time that they have in that day. So I want to thank you for all the work that you're doing with our kids. I want you to keep it up. We've got some very exciting things that are going to be happening starting in August of this year. You know they're building two new schools here in Peoria, uh, Glen Oak and Harrison. Uh, Head Start, early Head Start will have a presence in both of those facilities. We'll have two classrooms uh, at Harrison. We'll have three classrooms at Glen Oak. And those of you that are at uh, those facilities now, uh, these new facilities that you're going into have all the bells and whistles that you ever want to see in an educational facility. Uh, they're great opportunities for us to improve the lives of our kids, great opportunities for us to help transform what's happening in this community. So again, I want to thank you, and Melinda, I want to thank you for uh, allowing Maya to introduce uh, me. Most of you know that I'm not very uh, emotional. <laughs> But uh, that really warmed my heart. Thank you. I really think it warmed everybody's heart, right? Yeah. Uh, and that's uh, this this agency. I've, I've got to say just this one little tiny bit. And uh, we'll, we'll get on with this. But this agency is very important to everybody that's an employee here. And we really believe that we're a big family. And we're very proud of everything Mr. Bragg has accomplished. With that said, I'll go on. Our Father, who art in heaven. Yeah. 